So this show is where we will explore all things marketing and uncover those things that matter for you and your success. I'm your host, Denise Millay, and my hope and mission is to bring marketing and technology to you in a way that's useful without jargon, complexity, or confusion, so you can grow your business, expand your impact in the world, and build your best life. Today's episode is called social media. But before we dive in, I want to share a quote from you from someone who's, who's an expert in their field. She works for HubSpot Marketing. Facebook is a discovery model platform. Its primary goal is to make the audience happy. You get ROI or return on investment if you create quality content for your audience. And that's from Kelly Hendrickson at HubSpot Marketing. So why did I share that with you? Well, because social media is an exchange. It is a community building activity, okay? It, you get what you put into it. You get out what you put into it, okay? It's very difficult to expect results. If you create an account, you send out a post every holiday or a special day on your calendar, like National Waffle Day or whatever. And if you don't engage with other people and you don't comment and, and truly have conversations, then you don't engage, right? And not only are other people not really going to recognize who you are and know anything about you, but the platform itself to benefit shares the information of the most active people and the most people that are the most engaged, right? So if you don't engage and create your own account and statistics that the program are going to recognize, then it won't share your posts as much. And as you start out, they only share your posts with a certain percentage of the people that you're following or that are in your circle. So it's not like everybody sees everything that you put up there. So if you don't engage and get engagement from what you post, then people are less likely to see what you post in their newsfeed. Um, so I want you to understand this when we begin and as you choose to launch yourself on this platform or to use this platform, that it's kind of the rules of the road. And if you really want to be successful, you're going to have to do a little bit more than just, you know, throw up an image on National Donut Day. Okay, so let's move on. So we're talking about Facebook. And our first place we're going to land is everybody says, oh, do we have to? And I respond, it's just too big to ignore. There are 3.75 billion active social media users. 195 million Facebook visitors per day. 69% of US adults use Facebook and they average 34 minutes each day on the platform. Now, not very many places can you get an audience that large and on a consistent basis, right? Even network television, you know, with their millions of viewers, can't be guaranteed that kind of attraction for any one thing. Well, there are a few things, but not many, right? And so it's kind of too big to ignore. And if we really don't like the process, then I can't tell you to do it. But if you're going to do it, you have to understand what you have, what potential you have to tap into. And understand these statistics that I have on the slide, I pulled these in January of 2020, right as right before the pandemic started. So imagine what has happened since everyone shifted to the online world and everyone shut down and they came through it and did all these things. People have adopted social media. They've adopted video, being on camera. So many other things have changed so rapidly from the whole work from home and pandemic that was happened to us that you know, nobody could have predicted in any statistics. So like I haven't updated these because honestly, I don't think it would be too big, great. It would be a comparison that wouldn't matter because 
we know what happened to change the statistics. It's not because people love Facebook more. It's because they had nothing else that they could do but be at home and be on their computers. Okay, so I left these in place because I wanted you to see what it was in 2020. And I'm sure it's higher now, but you know, it's just a very, very large audience and it can really benefit your business if you do it well. So let's go and let's talk about what you need to do for Facebook success, okay? So the first thing that you're gonna to need to do is create a business page. Then you're gonna choose your posting schedule and you're gonna post and comment regularly. Then you're gonna like other people's pages and then you're gonna invite other people to like your page. Easy, right? Excuse me. Um, so, hmm, do you see hair in my mouth? Anyway, um, it's, it's really not, it's like everything else we do. It's a process. And if you do these steps, you'll get the most out of it. If you kind of slack off in different things, then you're really not gonna get as much as you want. So let's switch over to a demo so that I could show you how to set up a Facebook page. <clears throat> so this is, uh, how did I get here? Okay, so I was on logged into Facebook and here is my main profile page, okay? So you'll notice this because my picture here doesn't have a circle around it. It's, it's a circle, but it doesn't have a blue circle around it. So this is just my basic profile. If you go to these little dots up here, it's a menu, shortcut menu. And you click on this and you say page. And it brings you to a create page template. So I'm gonna name this page um, um, I actually have to create a page um, for a program that I'm doing. All right, category. Now, you can choose three categories. These categories are used when people are searching on social media. So you want to pick something that's descriptive of your business. It's a little limited in your choices. So I'm going to go with uh, program. No, that doesn't fit. Uh, marketing. And technology. Actually, I'm looking for this course. How about training? Training, 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 training. Uh, that's not going either. All right. Well, let's leave it marketing agency, advertising marketing. And okay. So then here you put in a description and this description is going to show in different places. So you want to use some keywords if you can. Um, I'm just going to do a short one right here. And then you click create page. And you can only do 255 characters in this short description. And it does get carried to other places. I'll come back later and edit this. Create page. Oh. Social selling. It doesn't like my capital letters. Okay, that's only my capital letters. How about that? Social selling pipeline program. See, lovely. Okay, so now it's creating it, I hope. See what happens. Spin, spin, spin. Now it's created. Now you can add images or go to your page to add more details. Okay, so. Here we are in, it's going to guide you through what you have to do. Okay, so I'm going to add a profile picture, which is a picture of me that I have. I'm going to use this one just because it's the first one I've got. And then you can add a cover program, cover, um, 
I'm just going to pick this one because it's what I've got out there right now and it has nothing to do with the program, right? Okay, now it's going to tell you once you click save on these, right? See what it did? It's It put it in there. It's going to guide you through the things you need to do next. Now, I don't have a WhatsApp account. I don't use WhatsApp, so I'm going to close this out and skip this, okay? And I want to leave that. Now, see how it says set up your page for success. There's five of 13 steps completed. So we're going to roll through here and do these. Now, what I want to show you is, you know how I added that picture to this page? Well, guess what? It told the entire world or anybody that's connected with me that I just updated a page with a new picture. And I don't know about you, but I don't really need to broadcast to the rest of the world every single thing that I do on my Facebook page, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the settings for this page right here and come down to page updates. And it automatically has a check that it's going to publish post when the info is updated on this page. And what I'm going to do is uncheck that and save the changes. And what this should do is prohibit any further updates going out to people to tell them that I've updated my page, which is frivolous, right? I don't like frivolous posts. So I'm going to reload this page so that it gets the new settings on the page. And then I'm going to go back to the page itself and then go back. Okay, you're not going back. I guess I have to go to the page itself then. Here's my new, new page and you click on it. Okay, so now you're gonna establish your page's identity by, see I've done a bunch of these by adding description name. If you open these up, it wants you to add a website, a location, if you have it, hours, phone number, messaging, action buttons if you want a button on the page so people can reach out and contact you when they go to your page. And then it wants you to invite 10 friends of yours to come and see the page or like the page so that you get some traction and then create a welcome post. It's really not complex, but you've now created an entity on Facebook for your business, okay? And when you have it on there, your business has a presence on the page. It's associated with you as a person, your profile, you create your page. It can be named your name, if that's what people are going to be looking for to find you on Facebook, or it can be your business. It really depends on what kind of business you are. Um, I have my main business named my name because my company is an overarching company and I really wasn't using that name when I started. So I just made my page my name. And a lot of people do that. Um, so it's really up to you what you're going to you know, do for you. Um, I also have a page for the show for Marketing Matter Show so that I can post things particular to the show and, and cultivate a different audience there. So it's, it's important that you do that thinking ahead of time. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about posting schedule. Everybody has an opinion on this. Everybody's there every day you have to post. Uh, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you have to post. And Tuesdays and Thursdays are the best between 11 and one. There are so many theories and opinions out there about what's the best way to do this, okay? I will say that the most effective thing you can do and the biggest favor you can give your business is to pick a schedule that fits for what you're doing right now and truly analyze how much time you have and only commit to do that and do it consistently. Put it in your calendar to have time to create the posts and the graphics and whatever else is needed and a little extra time for commenting and follow-up and messaging, okay? Because this is going to fall into uh, promoting something in marketing that happens. It's called the leaky bucket. You know, there's a theory about this leaky bucket that your business is a bucket 
and every bucket has a little leak in it, at least the old metal ones used to, right? And so there's a certain amount that's going to trickle out over time and that you, your marketing has to continue to fill the bucket all the time. Well, if you set up a schedule, here, I'm, I'm getting to my point, this is a natural attrition that's happening in your business. This is creating connections and then people not getting a response and losing an opportunity kind of thing that happens to your business. So there are so many things you have to do with your time. And I get that because I've got it too. And my calendar's busting and I'm not great at it all the time, but I try to only bite off what I can really do at a certain amount of time. And that's what I'm going to ask you to seriously consider. Because if you go and say, I'm going to post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and you only post on Mondays and you lose steam and you pick up again on Monday again, well, you don't know what your, your results were on Monday for the next Monday to know whether your text worked, whether anybody talked about it. If they did make a comment a week ago, well, you didn't see it, right? Because you were too busy to look at it. Gosh, if somebody had messaged you and said, hey, this looks interesting, um, get back to me you could have missed that too, right? So you're creating a hole in your own bucket by doing that, by, by setting something up that's not realistic. So I'm going to ask you to be very realistic and consistent with whatever you do. That's the posting schedule. So now go along your schedule and post and comment regularly. So now let's go back and take a look at what it's like to create a post. So there are two ways to create a post. You can create a post right here in Facebook, right? Or you can use Creator Studio. And Creator Studio is the piece of software that will let you create posts ahead of time and schedule them. And I have to say, it's, it's really the way that I survive Facebook is by scheduling things ahead of time. So... It's going to ask you what, what you want to post. First thing that you want to do is you want to put in your website address. No. Okay, so it's loading a preview from my website that pulls some text and verbiage off my website. So that's a good thing because this also might ensure that you might get some uh, clickability on your photo that you add later. So leave that there for a second and let's go pick a photo. So I'm gonna pick this photo because it's the first one that was there. Okay, now you see it's giving you a preview over the side what it's gonna look like. Now I'm going to go in and put in my simple text. Don't overdo it. People are not reading, they're skimming. So I usually put in, do you want to scale your business? Online strategies. Then tease a solution. And then a call to action, save your seat. And I actually will use this link. Now you can also put uh, hashtags you can choose them from this list. Um, you can search. So I would say uh, online and online events. And it tells you how many posts there have been here and on Instagram. And so I would choose this one and I would choose that one. And I would choose online entrepreneur. And I'd add those three. And then I have a... Um, a hashtag I use for me, if anybody just wants to see all my posts. Okay, uh, 
I added my photo. I don't do anything with location. I leave all this other stuff at the bottom the way it is. And then instead of publish, I say schedule post. And then you choose what day you want it to go out. And I'm going to choose tomorrow. And I want it to go out at 9 a.m. And then after, so it has that time. And then you say schedule post. And look at that. It's going to be in my list. If I refresh this list, you can go in here and preview it. You can make changes. If you made any errors in the text, you can't change the picture. If you made an issue, if you have a problem with the picture, you have to delete the post and re-add it. Okay. Now you can also do this for video posts um, and links and texts and all sorts of other things. So this is really great. And it's the way that I survive doing social media and getting it done, right? Because it's really hard to get it done when you have so much else going on, okay? Um, the other thing that I wanted to show you, and I forgot to do that, so let's go back to the videotape here, folks. All right, so let's go back to the page that I created. Now, when you want to invite people to your page, right? Where's the invite? Where's the invite thing? Oh, introduce your page. Okay, invite friends. This is going to show you everybody who is your current friends on Facebook. This is family, this is friends, this is business on any page that you have. So, you know, I have quite a few friends, not that many, but a few. And so you would go through this list and choose who you want to see your new page and they will get an invitation to, and then you say, send invites. Okay. Now you can also click on this and it'll send up an invite to the Facebook messenger program. But if you do that, you can only send 50 at a time. Um, it's very helpful to do this first round of invites this way, and it makes it so much easier. So I highly recommend using that. And um, yeah, so that would be very helpful for you. Okay, so now let's go to engagement. So let's talk about what you need to do to get engagement on this, on this platform. Okay commenting on posts. Now I'm not saying clicking on the little like hand button with the thumb up isn't good. It's good because anything that you do on someone else's post gives them credibility. Okay. But what I would say is find the people that are like-minded that you resonate with that are in groups that you're in, join groups and participate and friends that you have share their posts to other places, you know, just click on share and, and put it on your page or share it to the newsfeed, actually make a, you know, five, 10 word comment on it. It gives them an extra statistic, an extra piece of social proof. And social proof is what you need. If someone's coming to figure out who you are and what your business is all about, like, Okay, um, if they wanted to way back when in the olden days, if somebody wanted to know if you were a good plumber, they went to the yellow pages to see if you had a good ad. And, it, and if you spent money on that ad, it looked like you were official and professional, right? Um, well, this is similar. If someone's looking up your business, they're going to look on your website. If they're trying to decide whether to work with you or whether you're legit, they might come to Facebook and say, who is this person? And if you don't have any followers and you don't have any comments, you don't have any history of anything, well, then that's not going to help, right? So you want to have people attracted to your page. You want to like other people's stuff and have them like your stuff. And I said earlier, we weren't going to chase likes and shares that don't get results. The ones that get results, we're going to chase. Okay, so you're going to engage with things that matter to you that are true and not somebody's dog who's adorable, which you can comment on. But I also think that it's important that you find like-minded business people that you share something with and you start exchanges with them. And 
you know, and monitor that and keep the conversation going. Like their stuff, they're going to like your stuff because they're going to see your stuff if you see their stuff, right? Stuff. Um, be very official, professional here. The other thing that you want to do is attend events. There are online events that people put on on Facebook. They're called summits. They're called, you know, day long conferences. They do all sorts of things. If you attend those, then you get exposed to other people in your field who are also active on the platform. And by association, you can then find other people that work with them and their audiences might see your things if you connect with them or connect with their audience. So that's kind of how you build the tree and the branches, right? Is you start going to events and think things. The other thing you wanna do is Facebook Live videos, which I've mentioned before. Video is very, very popular right now. And um, obviously for obvious reasons, everybody's a lot more comfortable with it. So you could schedule a live video for one or two minutes and have it broadcast to your page and, and drop a tip or a strategy or something important that you learned that day or whatever. Or you could have an interview with somebody that you stream live to Facebook. Facebook loves these videos. They share them six times more, especially when you create them on their platform. Okay. And then you can reuse them for, you know, reshare them later on or pass them on if, hey, you, in case you missed this tip or whatever. If you do a larger session, you can actually put it to YouTube. So it's great. It's really great. So unfortunately, we're going to miss out on our free, free tool tonight, but I'll do it real fast. So I have a free gift for you today. It's called Five Free Online Tools That'll Change Your Business. And it has the details about the free tool I was going to do tonight. Um, so if you go to mmediagroupllc.com slash free dash gift, you can download my thing and you could see the whole delivery process that I use to deliver my free gift. Um, I'll give you a minute to take a note of the address, take a screenshot for later. I work with people to get their technology set up and I help automate their marketing activities. If you'd like more information, please visit my website at mmediagroupllc.com for more information and reach out through the contact page or via email on the website if you have any questions. My free tool tonight is called Remove Background. And rather than giving you a demo, since it's in the free gift, go to www.remove.bg. It's a free service. So you upload an image, like say you had a picture of yourself that uh, had a background like this in it, and you wanted to reuse that picture for advertising or somewhere else or for a web page but you don't want this background, right? It doesn't match what else you're doing. So if you go to remove background and you upload the picture, it'll strip everything out of the background and just leave you you. And you can download that and use it somewhere else. Now the free part, you can get a picture that's uh, 400 by 400 done. So it's not good for huge pictures or high resolution pictures, but it's good for just the small ones that you need for profile pictures and uploads to little circles when you're on pages on websites. So it's really great and you can use it for that. So it's really fantastic. I'm sure you're going to love it. Um, so check out the free gift and it will be so helpful for you. I know you will get use out of it. So thank you so much for joining me from, for this episode of Marketing Matters. I know how precious your time is and my hopes you came away with some nuggets you can apply to your business or some things that made you think. My aim is to provide clear and useful info for you so that you can have a thriving business, amazing relationships with your customers and clients. And as always, if you have any questions, you can drop a post on my Facebook show page, Marketing Matters, or you can go to my website and leave me contact information or contact form or email me from there. And join me here next week for our next episode where we're going to continue on in social media and talk about LinkedIn. So thanks very much for your time. Bye.